Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about alternatives and more secure alternatives to Skype and Zoom. Skype and Zoom are not true private video and text end-to-end -end encryption messaging platforms. True end-to-end -end encryption uses no middle party and the conversation goes directly between two parties. Now there's benefits and there's drawbacks to this. Now what the benefit is you don't have a middle party that can manipulate your connection, such as is the case under a TLS SSL style uh, chat. Now Zoom uses something like this and with Qtox, this is an alternative I want to introduce you guys to. It's a true end-to-end -end encryption system. It uses a unique encryption algorithm that has many benefits. And I have Qtox open right now. It uses the Tox protocol. Now, one of the drawbacks is that you have a direct connection, but there are ways to actually uh, fix this issue. You can go under advanced and you can then use a proxy. You can use Tor as your proxy, or if you have a Torified router, all you have to do is be connected to that Torified router uh, Wi-Fi access point. And from there, you don't have to worry about any proxy settings because of course, everything you do will be connected through the Torified router. So if you set one of those up, that's a great idea for using Qtox and any other end-to-end -end encryption. Uh, you have the security of knowing that your messages and video will not be broken as long as you maintain the integrity of the keys. We also, in addition to Qtox, we have Jitsi. Jitsi is another great option. It's an example of if someone doesn't have the key, all they would see is the scrambled screen. That is what happens if somebody doesn't have the proper encryption key for that. So if the other person on the other end has the key, the right key, and is a trusted person, this is similar to how Signal uses end-to-end -end encryption, but Signal also does utilize the phone number, so that is a drawback on that, in addition to the fact that if anyone adds a contact list and puts in phone numbers of interest, they can then see who is using Signal, and that can be a privacy concern. So as I mentioned, you can use a Torified router. Uh, if you need trouble, if you have trouble with that, uh, email me and I'll, I'll be happy to help you out. And if not, you can also just use the Tor application, the client side, and when you set up that, you can then set up a proxy under the advanced settings right here. You just add in your local address at port 9050, and from there, you would be able to Torify your Qtox connection that way. So when you open the chat, you can do video chat. You can do text messages back and forth. I actually have it open on my Pine phone. As you can see, the messages come up. So this is what Qtox looks like on the Pine phone itself. You should make it in landscape mode to really get it to fit in the screen properly. I wanted to introduce you guys to Qtox just so you can see the kind of options you have for true end-to-end -end encryption that is controlled only by you and the party on the other side. But as I mentioned, there is that drawback with the direct connection. You could leak the IP address if you're not using Tor, a Tor router or just the Tor client. That, as a proxy, will allow you to hide your IP address and maintain your privacy on a secure call or text conversation. So. This is an, a great option. You don't hear a whole lot of people talking about it. And there's also Jitsi, which are two great options for anyone who needs to get true end-to-end -end encryption without third-party manipulation. That's the danger when you don't have something that works as a true end-to-end -end encryption, is you have the ability for third-party manipulation. With TLS SSL, you have the third-party certificate authority and the provider that can manipulate things. See my last video on Man in the Middle Attacks to get a better understanding of how that could happen to you. I highly suggest checking out Jitsi, and it is something I've used in my own work. And also check out Qtox. It's an open source, and it uses a unique algorithm that is a little different. So take a look at Qtox. Take a look at some of the other clients. There's also Toxic. There's more than just Qtox. So that is another option for you if you want to check out the Tox. So that's what I got today, guys. I hope you liked the video. 
Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on ways you can protect your privacy.